What's going on guys and welcome to Burning Rubber. My name is Vlad and this is my friend Vitalik and today we're going to show you how to install a roof rack on a 2014 Audi A4. Alright, let's get going. Alright, so today we'll be working with a Tolly uh, roof rack package and in the package we have included mounting hardware kits, the Evo clamps, two Tolly wing bars and two Tolly side arms for the bike racks. Alright, so for step one we're going to install the mounting hardware kit, the metal brackets along with the rubber mounting shoes to the Evo clamps and slightly tighten the Allen bolt. Repeat these steps for all four Evo clamps. Loosen the Evo clamps and slide them into the wing bars. When setting the Evo clamps, you will need to measure your roof width. For this particular vehicle, we have the front clamps set at 38 millimeters in the front and 35 millimeters in the rear. And now, just fasten the clamp. Repeat the following steps on all four Evo clamps. Now we are ready to mount the full assembly on the roof. This particular vehicle has engineered pinholes on the upper door gym, which makes installing the mounting hardware simple. Tighten the Allen bolt evenly on both sides. Repeat these steps for all four Evo clamps. Next, we will fish the long rubber strip on the top portion of the wing bar. We will now be installing the wing bar hardware end cap along with the rubber piece that fills the void between the Evo clamp and the hardware end cap. Repeat these steps on the rest of the wing bar ends. Next, we will mount the bike side arm. We will install the back bracket that attaches to the rear wing bar. For this installation, we will need two rectangular washers and two screws. Feed one screw into each washer and slide the hardware into the bottom of the side arm. Next, slide the plastic and rubber housing onto the two screws which will grip to the wing bar. This metal bracket will grip the wing bar from the bottom. Slide the plastic and rubber housing onto the two screws on the front of the side arm as well. These will grip to the front wing bar. We are now ready to install the side arm on the wing bars. Slide the metal brackets from underneath the wing bars into the two screws and fasten with wing nuts. I installed the side arms about 7.5 inches from the wing bars. Measure the same distance on the front side arm. We will do the same, slide the metal brackets from the underneath of the wing bars into the two screws and fasten with wing nuts. The front of the side arm is attached by two brackets. We will install the second brackets with the wing nuts facing the top. This will later be covered with the cover that secures to prevent theft. We will now install the cover that covers the two wing nuts that are facing up and lock it with the key. Install the front end cap on the side arm. Slide the strap that secures the rear bike tire on the rear of the side arm and clip the last end cap. Repeat the same steps for the passenger side arm. Remember to measure 7.5 inches from the edge of the wing bars and make sure to tighten all the wing nuts.
And lastly, lock all your Evo clamps with the key. Okay, now we're going to show you how to properly mount a bike on the car. So first thing you want to do is you want to bring this control, this arm right here, swing it out to the side. Like that, and bring it out as far as you could. Also this little clip that holds the back tire, you want to unclip it, just put it to the side. Alright? Just tell you to pick it up by the fork right here and by the spray right here. That's it.